Someone's got to use the gavel. That's right. All right, let's call to order this January 6th, 2015 meeting of the Board of Supervisors. Please stand for a moment of silence. I'll go ahead and lead the pledge this morning. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm glad we're so full that nobody from the fire department can get in. That's right. So I've, I've been told I have one minute to give my remarks. So. You, you, Jay, you gauge how long the minute is. I know. It, well, it, it, hey, you let everybody else go long. <laughs> <laughs> so it's traditional that the outgoing chair the, um, and those leaving office offer their final remarks. I don't have much to say. I've been thinking about this day for a while, and I realize that um, I don't have a lot to say except to say thank you. Um, and congratulations to those who are accepting public office uh, and taking the oath today. It's been an honor to serve the community. Um, I'd like to call out a few folks to offer special gratitude. First, I'd like to offer a heartfelt thank you to the people of Lake County, particularly District 3, who seek to create a better future for our community. I'm especially grateful to those of you who engage who realize that you do not need permission from or even help from government to accomplish something amazing. I honor you who focus on possibility and are willing to put your energy into what you want to create. Your way of engaging has made working with you a joy. Next, I'd like to thank the county administration, the department heads and county staff who work hard for the public good. In some of the most difficult of circumstances, your dedication to serving, especially in an era of diminishing resources and staying positive, even in the face of difficulty, is to be honored and celebrated. You rarely receive praise for what goes right, but you certainly hear it when something goes wrong. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your work, your dedication, and your endurance. Uh, third, to my fellow board members, it's no secret we did not always agree nor did we see things in the same way, but the process of working together created better solutions than any one of us could have accomplished alone. Going forward, you don't have an easy job, and I believe you each want to do what is right for our community. To you, I offer my thanks for caring, for listening, and for your willingness to experiment and try new ideas. And I also offer as my observation that the most difficult decisions we faced together were often those we inherited, the consequences of poor choices of the past, those who came before us. And so nature is resilient, recovery is possible, and may the choices you make going forward keep future generations in mind. And may you always be open to alternative points of view. Fourth to my family and friends, particularly those in my farm community, without you, my being in this role would have been much more difficult. You are a source of great support, joy, and promise, and I love all of you. And a special thanks to my life partner, Loretta, for keeping me on solid ground and giving me the courage to stand alone at times, helping me hold true to the truth within myself, and providing needed perspective, which is important time and again. My final gratitude goes to those who shaped my admittedly different worldview, most modern eco-spiritual mystics like Thomas Berry and Brian Swim. Albert Einstein once said that you cannot solve problems by the same kind of thinking that created them. To create something new, we need a new way of looking at the world. We cannot create what we want by focusing all of our energies on what we don't want. I'm an organic gardener at heart. From that view, I see that we participate with nature to create soil from which good things grow. We focus on the soil, specifically the nutrients, so that life can thrive. I've often asked myself and others, what are the nutrients that we need to cultivate here in Lake County? And as I see it, some of the most important nutrients are openness, creativity, compassion, and above all, kindness and respect for one another. So in closing, I offer a portion of the dream that's been guiding me from the beginning. I dream that our children and our children's children will enjoy fresh, raging rivers, crystal clear air, 
and the lake and forests and wetlands teeming with life. I dream that species of all kind and all manner, regardless of their value to humans, have available to them the places they need to thrive and indeed do thrive together with us. I dream that the humans that live here live in right and balanced relationship with each other and with all of nature, giving back what we take, honoring future generations. And I dream that we see all creation as sacred, that our children know their place in this sacred world and are one with it, and they know what it means to be here in this place that we call home. For those who are curious about what I'm going to do next, I'll be announcing something soon. You can always follow me on denisrushing.net, and I'm, a great, I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve the community in this way. Please know that I've given it my very best. on behalf of the board and I'll read that proclamation and, and before I do I, I would like to uh, take the opportunity to just briefly provide my remarks as I know the other board members will as well and um, you know today this is a sad day and at the same time a happy day and I know that uh, you've given it much thought as to your future and your desire not to uh, run again and um, I know that uh, when I first met you it was here where I sat uh, on this dais and uh, saw you on a number of occasions come before our board and uh, always appreciated uh, your advocacy and the issues that you took on and that you held near and dear your heart and it ranges from uh, your support from the tribes and the environment and local sustainable farming, organic farming, uh, local business, a lot of the same issues that uh, we share and hold very dear to our hearts. Uh, and it's uh, been a joy for me because you probably remember that uh, phone call where I called you and I encouraged you to run. And uh, you gave me the reasons, a uh, litany of reasons why you shouldn't run. <laughs> I'll take the blame. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I, I think my response was to you, so what's the problem? And you took it on and other folks in the community uh, contacted you. And um, you, you possess the tools that uh, make a good leader. And that's what I've always uh, respected about you. You're very analytical, sometimes maybe a little too too analytical, but uh, that thought process that you put in uh, has always helped us come to good policy and good solutions. Of course, we haven't always agreed, and uh, what, I, what I respect about you is that uh, uh, we're able to disagree without being disagreeable. And uh, that is very important in this job to where uh, we can sit here and, and uh, espouse our ideologies and our beliefs and our creeds and our values. Uh, but at the same time, being able to walk out and shake hands after these board meetings. And I appreciate that the professionalism, uh, your integrity, and then uh, what you represent to be of service, not only to uh, your district, but to the county and this, uh, this board and our staff. So I want to thank you, and thank you for all your hard work in the community, and uh, we'll always be here if you need anything. And then before I, I don't know how to present this, but uh, I'll read the proclamation to you. It uh, is on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, uh, and it reads as follows, whereas after eight years of dedicated service to her community as a member of Lake County Board of Supervisors, uh, Denise Rushing will retire from county service on January 6, 2015, and whereas during her two terms as a county supervisor representing District 3, which includes the communities of Lake Pillsbury, Blue Lakes, Upper Lake, Nice, Lucerne, Glenhaven, Clear Lake Oaks, and Spring Valley, Supervisor Rushing has been active in planning and implementing numerous public projects in District 3 and throughout Lake County, including the following. Purchasing and renovating the historic Lucerne Hotel, the castle, the leasing of the castle to Marymount California University to serve as its lakeside campus, installing solar power at the gel and wastewater treatment plants, making Lake County home to the largest county solar installation in California, leading to Lake County receiving California Green Summit Environmental Leadership Award, constructing a senior center in Clear Lake Oaks, extensive blight removal and park development in Lucerne and Clear Lake Oaks, including transforming Clarks Island into an eco-park and natural building elements, leading to a second Environmental Leadership Award, purchasing and developing Mount Canoctai County Park, progress in Canoctai Regional Trail System and the Middle Creek Restoration Project an improvement along Upper Lakes Main Street. And whereas Supervisor Rushing has represented the Board of Supervisors, the County of Lake on numerous committees and boards, including the following, Area Agent, Agency on Aging, Lake County Coordinating Resource Management Committee, 
Fire Safe Committee, Local Agency Formation Commission, Lake County Area Planning Council, Lake County Stormwater <laughs> Program Advisory Council, Redevelopment Successor Agency Oversight Board, Resource Advisory Committee, Solid Waste Management Plan Task Force, Lake Transit Board, California Coast Province Advisory Committee, and Lake County Energy Watch Partnership. And whereas throughout her eight years as a member of the Lake County Board of Supervisors, including her terms as chair of the board, Supervisor Rushing has made herself available to members of the public and has effectively represented the public's interests. Now, therefore, it be proclaimed that Denise Rushing is hereby committed for her eight years of dedicated service to the people of Lake County and that we extend to our colleague and our friend best wishes of good health, happiness, and success in the years ago. that you were when you were elected and I called to congratulate you a, a day ahead of time because I knew that it was going to happen I could tell by the way you ran your campaign and the kind of person you were that you would be sitting up here as our colleague for however long you decided to stay it was your decision to leave after eight years um, and you mentioned that you know we haven't always agreed but um, and you and I probably are at the the most opposite end of the political spectrum. However, if you're, if there was a score to be kept, I think that the, the public would see that we probably agreed on at least 90% of the issues that were important to the county. And that's a testimony to you because to be wrong only 10% of the time is really, <laughs> it's really not that bad. <laughs> um, some of the differences, you mentioned that you're an organic farmer. <clears throat> I order extra gluten in my food. So, <laughs> So, we, um, we as a board, you know, this is, this is a, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but the board will understand this, sometimes a lonely position. Even your family does not involve your friends. You know, it's, it's, you make decisions up here that are, that are uh, they affect people's lives, and they're tough. They're tough to make. So, we as a board have, uh, have maintained uh, a relationship with that kind of respect. And outside of these chambers, we actually, you know, have spent some time together, and Jeff and I have gone duck hunting together. We've had good times, and Tony's invited me over to his house to uh, watch past board meetings that have been edited to show only him. <laughs> um, Jim and I actually spent time before he was on the board um, at Harbin Hot Springs. <laughs> was, he was in office six months before I recognized him with his clothes on. <laughs> But ironically, Denise and I have actually uh, gone out shooting together, among other things. And that's probably something that a lot of people don't know. She's actually a pretty good shot. So I wanted to... Anybody, if anybody's ever been in my office, you've seen the, the pistol that I proudly display on my desk. It's, a, it's an old army revolver. And uh, I want to give this to you. And also, it's a cap and ball. And... And this job takes a lot of balls, so I put a lot. <laughs> put several of these in here for you to, to remember me by. <laughs> a little note, uh, Denise, thank you for your friendship. You have caused me to aim higher and shoot straighter. And I wish you well in your retirement from this office that you have held so honorably. Your friend, always. Statute of limitations has run out, so it's... And there are a lot of, and there are a lot of guns in this room, so... <laughs> well, first thing I noticed, those balls were awful small, Rob, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I didn't figure you'd miss them. <laughs> um, you know, I want to I wanna thank Denise for... <laughs> I want to thank Denise for everything she's done for the county and the and the people she's represented and all the all the people in Lake County, and you know it's it's hard to follow both these acts and uh, you know that's one thing I thought about 
uh, Denise and I have breakfast uh, Tuesday mornings twice a month and had breakfast this morning and uh, I told her some of the things that you guys had already said that that she's the type of person that comes into the room we we disagree we make decisions and we leave the room and we're, we're friends and most of the boards like that or all the boards really like that so <clears throat> it's been a pleasure to work with you for the last eight years and I really wish you weren't going because I think uh, you you make a big difference in that that other point of view there's a lot of things that we have disagreed on but Rob's right 90 percent of the things that we've discussed and and fought over we've agreed on and that says a lot for the entire board and uh, you're you're definitely gonna be missed and you know I, I hope you keep in touch and we uh, still have the the great conversations we've had but Thank you very much for what you've done, and, and uh, you'll be remembered a long time, especially for the song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, Denise, six, six years ago when uh, I was preparing to uh, come up here, and this is different, any one of us can say this is vastly different than anything we'd ever done before. I spent 18 years on the school board. Rob lied to me. He said that this wasn't that much different. <laughs> he lied through his teeth. But uh, we went to lunch prior to me taking office, and uh, it's no secret that we come from vastly different political uh, perspectives. Uh, in fact, I'd been accused of, um, when I was on the school board, of being to the right of Attila the Hun, and I just said, thank you. But... Uh, <laughs> When, uh, when we went to lunch and we were talking, you said, I think we probably will see things eye to eye on about 90% of things. And you're absolutely right that we do see things eye to eye. And as has been said before, we've had some disagreements, all of us, but we have agreed to never be disagreeable. You have always conducted yourself absolutely as a lady, and I want to commend you for that, and thank you. And it has truly been a pleasure to serve with you it's been an honor and a privilege to serve with you for these six years. You will be missed. You have made an impact on the county. Uh, you've made an impact on future generations, and those things you'll be thanked for from generations far beyond us. And you wish you great luck with your future endeavors, your uh, walnut orchard. And uh, I know that there are a bunch of critters that come in your walnut orchard. Maybe you can take care of them with that. You know, <laughs> it will. It, you could, you, no, it's called Ten Ring, dead center. But I really want to say it's been an honor and a privilege to get to know you, to serve with you, and to call you as a friend. And I, I truly see you as a friend, and thank you for the time we've been able to spend together and trying to do the right things for the county. You've always wanted to do the right things and have done the right things. And for that, I thank you and commend you and truly honor privilege to serve with you. to the vice chair for the next item. I guess we took more than a minute. <laughs> Thank you. As chair, a minute was at your discretion. The, the, the one thing that we did uh, leave out is, and, and that's going to be missed, is having a female representative on the board. Yeah, and I mean that wholeheartedly, but the good news is, fear not, we have Rob Brown to, right. to step up to the place. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next order of business is that we're going to do the... Uh,